hey welcome to my youtube channel art of card so today we are going to do a buckling analysis okay a buckling analysis on an aluminium can an aluminium can is an ingenious design so let's start so go to the front plane click sketch take a circle you can change the dimensions my default is in inches but you can change to millimeters okay so we edit this sketch from here you can edit to whatever scale you are sorry whatever units you want from meter centimeter millimeter to inches so go to the smart dimension 65 64 millimeters okay so this is going to be a surfacing if you don't see surfacing don't worry you can just click here and activate or deactivate it okay so click on this any of these parts okay surfaces and you can see it. so extrude surface you want it extruded by 122 millimeters nice one then now we have to go direct to our study so we'll go to SOLIDWORKS add-ins activate SOLIDWORKS simulation After activating SOLIDWORKS simulation, select new study. Sorry for the delay, I have a lot of things on my computer. So now directly we start with the static study, okay? So first things first, we have to define the thinness. Remember, this is an infinite small surface because we used surface extrude. So come here to the shell manager. You can just drag this one down. Click this part put uh, 0 0.1 millimeters thinness yes we are done we go to apply material an aluminium can we is made from an aluminium alloy 3004 hot rod so select materials aluminium alloys by default the steel is open so just minimize the steel you can go down you see 3004 h34 rod s the important parameters are the elastic modulus and Poisson's ratio. Apply, close. We apply a fixed geometry, the side that is going to be fixed, this edge. Click OK. Now we apply a torque. Leave the value to 1 Newton meter. Select this side. But we want it to go on the other side, so reverse the direction. Oh, sorry. But we have not defined the principal axis, so we select the same face. Don't worry about the mesh, it will, it will do an automatic mesh. So you can see the von Meister scale and the displacement. But we are not done, so you can double click on this one. Then you edit what you want to see, okay? You can use the first principle. Triaxial principle. Whatever value you want to see. But now we have to go and make a new study. Called the buckling. Buckling study select activate it okay you see the buckling study has formed so we have to define the material and the shell again same procedure go to aluminium alloys same material apply close remember the shell manager you can minimize this if it's distracting select this one Put the value of 0 0.1 millimeters yes okay now we don't have to define the other features we can just drag from this part you drag it slowly okay up to here 
it will copy it to here yet and again we drag the external load to here now we have all the parameters we need just run this study again sorry now you can see the buckling but we want to animate it so right click on the amplitude click animate the frames are so small so we add it to 25 which is the optimum for the human eye please leave a like suggest any uh, feel free to leave any comment or any suggestions and uh, let's have an interactive channel thank you